Veneering, the art of producing thin timber, has been around for over three and a half thousand years. And this is evidenced by uh, the tombs of the Egyptian pharaohs where veneered furniture was discovered. Veneered work was also produced in great volumes by the Romans during the Roman Empire. Since the Industrial Revolution, the advances in veneering have seen it become far and above the most efficient use of timber, deeply respected and much loved for providing natural, unique and beautiful products which instill warmth and sophistication into the projects in which they are featured. It's not simply something where we can push a section of timber into a machine and outspits the veneer. Veneering is part science and part art. We need to be able to look at the log and work out the right way to dissect it. And when we cut that log up into flitches, we need to be sure that we're producing the highest quality veneer at the maximum efficiency. And that's the beauty of veneering, that we can use this natural resource, walk hand in hand with mother nature and produce something special from a very small amount of raw material. While others are closing their mills or laying off staff, Matilda are continuing to invest in new machinery and updating the way we do things. We are already Australia's largest manufacturer of Australian species and we want that to continue for decades to come. Our purpose is to explain the art of veneering and give people an appreciation for the time, effort, care, love and passion that goes into creating this unique and special product. The log selection is one of the most critical parts of slice veneering. That's where the starting point is for, for great veneer. So a really good log will produce really great veneer. Once selected, they're sent directly to our mill. We'll I'll move through a purpose-built veneer manufacturing line controlled and supervised by a highly skilled and experienced team, crafting them into the very highest quality veneers. Once the logs are arrived at our mill, they then need to be cross-cut to length. They're craned up onto conveyors, they go through the cross-cut saw. Once the log's been cut to length, they're considered as log length billets, and those billets are kept within sequence to cut the flitches. Our flitching machine is purpose-built. It's a 60-inch Canadian saw built on top of a gantry, and we have the ability to move the flitches in multiple directions and put it on different angles to not only just cut quarters or halves, but we can also cut thirds, depending on how the log is. All logs are natural. They present to us differently with the way their hearts are or the way the grain structure is or what we're trying to achieve with the look in the grain. So once the flitches have been cut, they get sent to the heating tanks where they need to be heated carefully to ensure that the wood is soft enough and usable enough to go to the slicer. Flitches need to be prepped once they come out of the heating tanks because they will have been sitting in water under heat. We need to clean off all that material, prep the angles nice so that when we put it to the machine for slicing, we start off on a nice clean edge. Once the flitches are prepped, they're ready to go to the veneer slicer. The slicer that we have is, is Italian made, Cremona slicer. Beautiful machine, very heavy duty, wonderful for our Australian native hardwoods. The thickness of the veneers can change, but in general terms, we like to cut our woods at 0.58 of a millimetre. And that thickness is quite a standard thickness around the world. It ensures that it doesn't get ripped or damaged and it's got some body and it can be used and handled very well. With each slice, we keep the veneer in sequence. The veneer sheets come off the flitch and they're stacked up one by one back into sequence. The process for drying veneers is to feed the freshly sliced veneer leaf by leaf into the veneer dryer with hot air being forced out onto the veneer and that will bring the moisture content down in the veneer where it's six to eight percent moisture. Careful attention is put to this process. The Matilda veneer works very hard, having lots of special sequences for different species, different cut types, different moisture contents before the veneer goes into the veneer dryer to ensure when it comes out, it's at a great usable moisture content. It's exceptionally important that a staff member from Matilda veneer is present when grading the veneer, always. In fact, we never grade veneer unless one of our trained staff is looking over that veneer. Once the veneers are graded, 
they'll go to the guillotine line where any undesired defects that have been marked off in the grading process will get cut off and go off as waste and the veneer will be then bundled together with straps and they will go through a measuring line and through that measuring line will be given a barcode which contains the log number which keeps the log in sequence it ensures that none of the veneer will get mixed up we'll be able to know that when they're in different pallets or gone to different jobs we can come back and know where that veneer has come from once the veneers have been guillotined they're packed into their pallets often kept just within their grades those pallets will then come into our warehouse. We will then go through another grading process. Matilda Veneer some years ago embarked on a project to bring a great system from Europe to Australia for the first time. And that system is Timber Plus. We can do a lot of tracking about where our logs came from, how they got into the grades that they are, which customers it's gone out to, where it's going to be used and a lot of really good information that we can consolidate in one great place. It's been really one of the game changers within the Australian veneer market. Matilda Veneer has a great range of different veneers, particularly from Australia and the Pacific region. We have between 1.2 and 1.4 million square meters of veneer. We have such a broad range of colors and features and grains that really it's endless in what you can do with the veneers that we have in stock. I think the true reason why Matilda is in a special place to assist you with your architectural designs and specifications is that we're a family business and we really care. Anthony and I learnt from our father-in-law Robert who passed down his knowledge from us over the course of the last decade and we want to make sure that if there's room to improve that we can find it and make changes to our production methods to better cater for the changing needs of the architectural community.